Before we get into how hoodoos are formed, I would just like to point out the fact that not all phallic rock structures are the same. Walking and talking, hiker that sings. I'm Michael Wright, this is Adventures and Things. Hi, welcome to Adventures and Things. I'm Michael Wright, and today we are going to Balancing Rock, and we're going to find out how hoodoos are made. So stick around to find out that. And before we dive too deep into the excitement of how hoodoos are formed, I would like to point out that not all phallic rock statues are the same. Hoodoos are different from what is called a pinnacle or a spire. And the major difference between the two, pinnacles are pillar-like and are the same width, whereas a hoodoo usually tapers in and is covered by a capstone, or in this case, a balancing rock. Now, I don't want to get too deep into the golly geology of how hoodoos are formed, but I will give you the Michael Paul Wright version, which will probably raise more questions than answers. So, simply put, hoodoos are formed over multiple weathering processes, like high winds and rain, Frost wedging is another way of erosion which causes these formations. Frost wedging is when melted snow falls into the cracks of the hoodoo and then freezes. And when water freezes, it expands by almost 10%, thus opening the cracks more and more each time. So more questions are being raised like, how the hell does that boulder get up there? These are originally formed by glacial melt. Hoodoos are usually formed in places with mudstone or sandstone and are covered with a thin layer of hard rock like sandstone or limestone, which essentially makes cement. So the capstones would be in the glacial till and as it washed away, these boulders, much like this one, were left on top, which oddly enough, helped protect the hoodoos from eroding faster. That is the Michael Paul Wright version of how hoodoos are essentially formed. So another theory of how these of how these hoodoos here came to be was a race of lizard people. They built these with the capstones on top so they could lay out on top of them and soak up the sun. But I don't believe that because I'm not a crazy person. So let's stick to the science and uh, yeah, well, if you like this, click the me likey button. And if you haven't already, maybe subscribe. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you learned a thing or two about hoodoos. Well, see you later. Nom 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 nom, subscribe.